Uh, when I was in Okinawa, Japan, I got put on the 31st Mew uh, Marine Expeditionary Unit. Um, our first assignment was Iraq, 04 to 05. Um, in there, I was on the Line S program for a few weeks out there. Um, we did missions from Camp Fallujah, um, Motor T, like uh, convoys out there. Um, came back, went to Thailand, went to the Philippines, um, then came to California, and I got deployed again, 06, 07, to Iraq. was on the Line S program for 35 days. Um, did uh, house raids at night, um, checkpoints uh, during the day, and uh, I was stationed in Al Assad, Iraq, at that time. And then right from there, went to uh, Sarnes course, and then came straight down here to the drill field. The Line S program is a extraordinary like, group of females that they choose out there in Iraq or Afghanistan. Um, they pull teams of about 10 to 12 women together to go out um, and we are in charge of searching all the females. Um, they ask us questions, we ask them questions. We get an interpreter with us um, in case they don't understand English. We check them before they go in or out of the cities. Also at night we are attached to an infantry unit that goes out and does actual house-to-house -house raids with the infantry um, going in to the houses at night. Um, we'll take all the women that live in the house and put them in a separate room. We'll search them, sort of give them, tell them who we are, we'll understand who they are, and usually there's there's no problem from there. It's usually, we get the women right there, um, and then we get the information from the women uh, about the, the men from Af uh, Afghanistan or Iraq. It's not part of the Line S program, but it was part of a big thing of, of what happened to me out there, and it was just when I was on a convoy. You know, being a female, you don't really expect it to happen to you or whatever. Um, it was me and another a corporal in the vehicle together and then a male that was on the gun and we had just changed over. I got up on the gun. We were in a seven ton and the female was driving, the corporal was the you know, the comm guy. And um, we were moving up to post security for the convoy to, to drive by. The MPs had cleared the spot, but apparently they missed something. And uh, as we drove over the, the pothole, we hit a pressure plate double tack um, anti-tank mine and uh, Pretty much destroyed our truck but all of us walked away from it so I mean I think that's a good wake-up call for us and uh, hey, we got on the next vehicle and continued the mission that night and it ended up being a 22-hour convoy that night but we completed the mission and we were fine from it. As a senior drill instructor though I got to talk to, to recruits about whatever I wanted to because I was pretty much the mom of the platoon and um, I told them if they ever got an opportunity to go to Iraq or Afghanistan um, which the majority of them do to volunteer for the Lioness program because it's the closest thing females get to do to combat with the infantry because females can't go to the infantry. Um, and I would tell them all about my experiences and what I did and how it makes females get put out there more to, you know, because we're so limited still to what we can do as our duties to go out there and do better things for the Marine Corps.